we're talking about operations with fractions, right? Ooh, that was off. When I say operations, what am I talking about? What am I talking about when I'm talking about operations? There's four main operations. Huh? That's it. Those are my four. Those are my four. But yes, that was like a very philosophical definition. But that's it. I'm just looking for addition, subtraction, I am writing it on here and it's connected to my computer. I know it's fancy, huh? Huh? Oh, yeah, no, I have this little pen and it took me a very long time to get it so that my handwriting was actually legible. It's not easy. Okay, so what's the symbol for addition? Plus, right, just the plus sign. What about subtraction? Yeah, just the minus sign, right? And then multiplication and division is a little more complex. Yeah, multiplication has the X, the dot, or we can use parentheses. So if I wanna multiply three times four, I might write it like that, okay? And then what about division? You guys, I need you to pay attention, please. What's division? What's a symbol for division? Yes, a fraction. Yes, so I could do, if I wanted to say 10 divided by 2, I might write it like that. Yeah, there's the line with two dots, so I might say 10 divided by 2. Or I might use the little, like, house. I don't know, that's what I always think of. Like that, yeah, like long division, right? So those are the different ways that we're going to show that we're using multiplication or division, okay? So in this first section, it says find each sum. When I see the word sum, what operator am I talking about? Adding, yes, right? I got my little plus sign. So when I'm adding fractions together, there's something that we said last week that we need to kind of keep an eye on. What do we need to check when we're adding fractions? Yeah, Keja. Yeah, yeah, exactly. If it has the same denominator, then we just need to add across the numerators. So in number one, I got one third plus four thirds. So what do I get for my numerator? Perfect, yeah, five, and then my denominator stays the same, so I get three. So we just did number one together. Can I get you guys to do number two, please? And I'm just going to come around and make sure that I am able to do number two as well. Perfect. Great. Good job. Here you go. Got it. Here you go. Got it correctly. Perfect. Perfect. So my denominators are the same. So my denominator is going to stay the same. What do I get up in the numerator? Five, right? One plus four. There we go. So now numbers three and four, do they have the same denominator or different denominators? Different. So let's use the butterfly method. Can I remind you how to do it? We're going to take the numerator of one and multiply it by the denominator of the other and then just the opposite. So those are our little butterfly wings. And I'm gonna multiply these numbers. So what's eight times three? Good job. 
And what's 2 times 1? Mm -hmm. And then I multiply these two. What's 2 times 8? Perfect. Okay. And what do I do with these two numbers, 24 and 2? Yeah, I'm going to add them. I'm going to add them. Huh? Yes. 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 So what's 24 plus 2? 26. And then 16 is my denominator. Cool. Anyone have questions on that? Okay. And, yeah, Rusty? You, there's other ways? Yeah, did you, I'll come over and take a look. I'm sure you're fine, but I'll come take a look. But then what about with this? Yeah, how can I simplify this? Put it in half, right? I can divide the top and the bottom by 2. So 26 divided by 2 gives me what? Good job. And 16 divided by 2 is? 8. There you go. So that's my answer. Can you guys do number 4, please? Can you do number 4? Yeah, so I circle five and three. If you didn't get that right, take a look. Five times three is 15. Four times nine is 36. Four times five is 20. What do I do with my 15 and 36? I add them. What's 15 plus 36? 51. And my denominator is? 
20. There we go. Perfect. Hmm? All right. Now we're on the next section. What does it say? Find each difference. What am I talking about when I say difference? Yeah, subtraction, right? So numbers five and six, do they have same denominators or different denominators? Same. So what do I do? Yep, just subtract across the top. So five minus four gives me one. And my denominator just stays the same. Can you guys do number six, please? Get number six done, please. Number six. Number six. Number six. Next one, number seven. So I don't have, I have two minus one fourth. That two is not in fraction form, right? It's a whole number. How do I make it look like a fraction? Yeah, Keisha. Yeah, exactly. You just turn it into two over one. Okay. Any whole number can be written as a fraction if I just put a one underneath it. So now I've got two over one minus one over four. Do those have the same denominator or different denominators? Different. So I'm going to use my butterfly method. Butterfly. So butterfly method will work every time but it's best to just use it for when you have different denominators. And it's just for addition and subtraction, okay? What's two times four? Eight, and then I do one times one is one, and one times four is four. And what do I do with this eight and the one? Huh? Add them, what's in between those two? Subtract. Yes, what's eight minus one? Seven. So seven over four, that's my answer. Can you guys do number eight, please? Do number eight, please. Number what do we get? That's it. That's it. Can you tell me what to do? Good. 8 over 1 minus 11 over 6. And then what two sets of numbers do I multiply here? Perfect. What's 8 times 6? 48. And what's 1 times 11? Mm -hmm. And then what's 6 times 1? Perfect. 48 minus 11 is? Mm -hmm. And my denominator is? Perfect. What's up, Lancer? Uh, how do you, I thought it would be that All right, let's flip over to the other side, please. Flip over to the other side. Okay, 
I've got find each. What does that say? Product. What operator is product? Multiplication. Um, can you please wait until we're done with this paper? So first thing, what do I do when I'm multiplying? What do I do when I'm multiplying? Just straight across, right? And I've got these multiplication problems written three different ways, right? First one's with these x's, but I just, like Keisha just said, we just multiply across. What's four times eight? Good, 32. What's three times five? 15. There we go, that's it. Super easy, right? And if you don't know your multiplication tables off the top of your head, use your calculator. That's okay. That's what they're there for. Okay, number 11. So this one's written with parentheses, but same exact thing. Just multiply across. So 11 times 1 gives me? Good. And 6 times 10 gives me? Perfect. And number 13. Same thing, just written with a dot. Multiply across the top and across the bottom. What's one times two? Two. two. And three times three is? Nine. Nine, perfect. Can you guys do 10, 12, and 14, please? 10, 12, and 14. Section say find the what quotient what does quotient refer to division right and what's my little rule for when I'm dividing fractions <coughs> what's the place yeah keep change flip okay so let's look at number 17 first and then we'll go back to 15 so I'm going to keep the first fraction change the division symbol, and flip the second fraction. So I keep the first one, one half, change this division symbol into what? Yeah, multiplication, and then I flip my second fraction. So instead of five over three, I'm gonna make it three over five. And now it's just a multiplication problem. So what do I do for multiplication? Yes. 1 times 3 gives you? And 2 times 5 gives you? Perfect. Okay, same thing for number 15. It's just written a little differently. If you want, you can rewrite it so it looks like this. And it's just always top divided by bottom. Okay, so 13 over 9 divided by 4 over 3. And then let's do our kick. What? Keep, change, flip. Yeah, Lancer. So when you flip it to the zero on top then? Yeah, exactly. I'm just rewriting it so it looks like this, like this one instead of like this. Okay. Yeah, but yes, you're exactly right. So I'm going to flip that four thirds mm -hmm. so that it turns into three fourths. I change that division symbol to a multiplication, and then I've got 13 over 9. That one stays exactly the same. What's 13 times 3? Good, 39. And 9 times 4 is? Good. Does anyone know how to simplify that? Not half. 
can't have 39. Huh? Yeah, divide by 3. So we're going to just divide that 3 back out. So then we get 13 over, what's 36 divided by 3? 12. Perfect. Okay, can you guys show me numbers 16 and 18? And then I think it's Adriana and then Kesha. You guys have a question? Okay. I want you to do the 16 and 17 first. Thank you. 